Hi everyone, in the last video we saw how to create drop down and fixed size controls. In this video we will see how to create a new control called input box. So how to create it? Go to add a control, click input box. Okay. Once you create this input box control, uh, based on what it should be. Uh, in this I want it to be based on the zone in which the patient lives. Okay. Here, uh, what are the different zones available? It does not, uh, it does not, we do not know actually. For example, we will create a drop down list for the same uh, category based on the zone in which patient lives. There are various zones, south, west, east and others. Okay. So, but uh, I can easily click and get, uh, see the values accordingly. But, whereas, if you want to use this control of input box, you need to manually type the things. Okay, you need to manually type. For example, in, if you want to know in each zone, you should manually type east and the result will come accordingly. Okay, one major drawback drawback is that uh, you need you need to know by heart what are the different types of subcategories available in, in that heading. As a creator, you might be knowing, but you cannot expect the end user, that is the customer or the client, to know it. So this is of not of a much of a greater utility. Okay, and another it another drawback is that see in West zone there is 36 patients, but when I am typing uh, with W as small letter, it comes as zero. Okay, in other words, this uh, tool is case sensitive also. Okay, so these are the disadvantages, and hence it's not commonly used. Yet this option is being given. This option of input box control is being given in Google dashboard. Thank you. We'll see how other controls work in our upcoming videos. Thank you.